Welcome back to another NVIDIA Daily episode. Today, we do have a lot to cover. We're gonna start off with a quick update of Google Cloud and some NVIDIA solutions. Then we're gonna jump with some recent analyst calls and discussions, and we're gonna end this episode with an upcoming competitor in the GPU consumer space. So we have all that to cover in today's episode, so let's get started. I wanna thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video, and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. All right, so it is Thursday after the market closed, and we can see Nvidia was down roughly 3.7%, but if we also see on the right, it seems to be a pretty red day for the overall market. We can see companies like AMD down 3.8% and Microsoft down 2%. Nvidia does have earnings in the upcoming days, and let me know in the comments below, what do you think is gonna be the price of Nvidia after reporting earnings? I honestly can't guess, because I, I'm always wrong with short-term results, but would definitely like to hear from you, the viewers, what you think NVIDIA will be after earnings. Now, the first thing I wanna take a closer look at is uh, some updates here with Google Cloud. So we know that the biggest customers of NVIDIA solutions are the cloud server providers. And right now, Google Cloud has this product called Cloud Run, which makes it super easy to host your web applications. And now it has included GPU support and they're adding various NVIDIA GPUs to the solution. So let's say you're adding, let's say you wanna develop an application and you want to have this application run some form of generative AI solutions. Cloud Run allows it to kind of be done a little bit easier than normal and they offer a variety of GPUs or they're starting to, right? So Google Cloud, if we take a closer look at it, it starts off with NVIDIA L4. They are previewing that right now in Google Cloud Run and they're gonna eventually offer the NVIDIA H100. So Google Cloud Run is not your typical Google Cloud, right? Obviously, Google Cloud has plenty of H1 solutions. They have plenty of other L40 and L4s. Cloud Run is a specific niche which helps you build apps or websites quickly on the fully managed platform. So right now they are offering the addition of NVIDIA L4 GPUs. And again, this just showcases that you have a huge demand for all of NVIDIA's GPU solutions, not only their H100, but also their kind of lower tier markets like the L4 and the L40S. And this can also be seen bullish for NVIDIA as right now we hear that all these cloud server providers are designing their own AI chip, but even if they have their own AI chip, like Google Cloud and Google has their TPUs, they still need to continue to come up with NVIDIA solutions at the end of the day. So overall, I think this was uh, one of the big, uh, one of the main things to discuss here with Google Cloud. And again, just showcases the variety of different use cases for NVIDIA. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna say thank you so much for all the support we're having here with the eBooks. I do have two eBooks. The first is kind of like an encyclopedia. The second is an insight on the current earning quarters that we have right now. The earnings book is probably one of my favorite. We are covering almost 40 companies right now with more being added on a weekly basis. The great thing, if you purchase now, you get the updated versions for free on your email. And next week with NVIDIA earnings, we will send out that NVIDIA update. So if you wanna learn more, go to moresemiinvesting.com. Like I said, I personally have learned a lot from this ebook and I'm the one making it. I'm pretty sure you will learn a lot as well. Now, I wanna jump into some analysts. And on Thursday, Rosenblatt Securities maintained a bullish stance on NVIDIA. They reiterated a buy rate of $200 for the stock. I think that's one of the more bullish we've seen. We had another price target, as we're, another analyst, as we're gonna see in a bit, also have a very bullish price target right before earnings. And Rosenblatt kind of highlighted a lot and a lot of cool informations, mainly with the Blackwell. First, they mentioned that, hey, look, they expect Blackwell revenue to be mainly a 2025 event. And this is something that we have kind of discussed here, especially as we hear these reports of delays for the Blackwell platform. And this analyst does seem that even if there is a few months delay in Blackwell release, Nvidia's impact would be minimal in a market that's already facing significant constraints, mainly because hyperscalers are gonna continue to purchase the Hopper architecture. And again, very similar to what we've discussed is this Blackwell delay, if it is true, 
it's not necessarily an impact in forms of revenue as there's still so much pent up demand and there's still much there's not enough supply at the moment so the h100 and the h200s are going to be eaten up like no tomorrow now what i thought was pretty interesting here is this analyst did mention that right now hyperscale companies are transitioning to liquid cool versions of the hopper the h100 and the h200 to try to increase the performance and also reduce kind of the amount of energy and power they're using in them and that's something i haven't really heard too much but it does make sense if you obviously want to be more efficient you're going to move a little bit more into liquid cooling which can obviously bode well for super micro and super micro during their earnings they did mention that right now they are seeing a nice pickup in liquid cooling and and they have liquid cooling for the h100 and the h200 right now which they are selling so this could be seen as a nice bullish case as obviously super micro is one of the leading it is the leading market share leader right now in liquid cool solutions we also did have another analyst come out with nvidia and that was key bank they were very really bullish on the company they reiterated their price target of $180. And very similar to Rosenblatt, KeyBank doesn't necessarily have any worries about the Blackwell chip delays if they are true. The main reason, very similar, is there's still plenty and plenty demand for the Hopper architecture. So I know I sound like a broken record, but I think it is important to kind of hear all these types of thoughts from other analysts that really have kind of a more keen sense of the supply chain and what's happening with cloud store providers because it kind of tells us that hey look while there might be some bears that are screaming that these delays might be horrible as an investor of nvidia we know that right now the demand for the h100 is still pretty pretty strong now KeyBank did have some interesting notes so KeyBank believes and this is something that we have talked about in the past that these delays have caused nvidia to kind of shift off with some of their blackwell productions it seems like their b200 is going to be a product that's going to be mainly for hyperscalers and then they're going to have a variant of it that's going to be more for the enterprise players so this analyst KeyBank, pretty much mentions that KeyBank believes that Given the Blackwell delay, they believe NVIDIA will prioritize the ramp of B200 for, hyperscale for hyperscalers and has effectively canceled B100, which will be replaced with the lower cost performing GPU, the B200A, which is targeted at enterprise customers. Regardless, obviously, KeyBank is still very bullish at that price target of $180. Now, if NVIDIA really does do this, I don't think that's bad a bad case because right now it seems like NVIDIA is focusing its strongest GPU, the B200, to its biggest customers who are going to need all types of computational power. And again, I do believe we have discussed this in a previous episode as well, but just reiterating that it doesn't seem like there's going to be there's going to be much delay here for the hyperscalers in their B200 systems. So, obviously this is going to be a big question during earnings and something that we're going to definitely cover here in this channel. During the earnings, I am planning on doing a live stream and I think I might be doing some live streams starting monday i still haven't thought of a time but i want to kind of bring back more to the community and kind of get your q a sessions of what you want to learn about the semiconductor space and i think live streams is the best way to do that so i hope you enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you all next time